The Director General of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, has hailed Uganda for her role in controlling the spread of Ebola virus from the neighboring Congo. The virus has ravaged part of the DR Congo, which shares borders with numerous towns in Uganda. Jebreosis made the commendation yesterday after a meeting with a delegation of government officials led by Prime Minister Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda. We have discussed about the Ebola outbreak in DRC. So we just uh, returned from uh, DRC after spending the New Year with our uh, colleagues fighting Ebola there. Uh, we visited Ebola, uh, uh, we visited the RC this time, uh, one reason being to respect, to show respect to those who are in the field of fighting Ebola, and the second purpose was to evaluate the situation and recalibrate our strategies and, and, and tactics. Uh, but at the same time, uh, since the outbreak could affect uh, the region, also for the time being, it's actually so far it's uh, controlled in North Kivu area and the two <coughs> provinces only, and it hasn't spread. And the number of cases is also kept uh, low, uh, but the chances of the spread are uh, already there, still there. So that's why we came here to discuss about uh, the situation uh, and also, of course, uh, to come to comment His uh, Excellency the Prime Minister in Uganda for the preparedness they have done here. Uh, the preparedness, the strong preparedness has kept uh, Ebola away and we commend it for uh, doing that. But at the same time, that has to continue uh, uh, to be strengthened in uh, order to keep not only uh, Ebola away but to control uh, the Ebola outbreak. Uh, and uh, at least free uh, the region from uh, the outbreak. Jebreosus said the virus was now under control in various areas, including North Kivu, but warned that the risk of spreading to other regions, including Uganda, remains. He noted that controlling the epidemic will only be possible through collaboration, since it was now being addressed as a regional concern. Most of the largest population of refugees uh, as WHO and personally, I really commend Uganda. Uh, this kind of solidarity is uh, important. Uh, I know it needs resources and, and, and other, other uh, things, uh, but helping our brothers and sisters uh, coming for, for support is the right thing, right thing uh, to do. And Ebola uh, can be controlled while still uh, having an open door uh, policy. Ebola has claimed over 350 lives in the DR Congo since it broke out last year, exacerbating unrest brought about the long-running political conflict. Uganda intensified Ebola screenings at its border points with the DRC as more Congolese refugees continue to flock to Uganda to flee Poles' related violence. Among the most hit areas include Beni and Butembo. There are fears of its spread to Goma and Kisanga and neighbors including Uganda. However, in spite of the latest threat, Uganda has recorded no cases of the disease. Dr. Hakana Rugunda, the Prime Minister of Uganda, thanked WHO for supporting Uganda and lauded Ugandan medics for their efforts in keeping the epidemic away. We want to take this opportunity to salute him as Director General and his leadership and his team because of provided exemplary leadership in the global fight against the Ebola epidemic. He has been able to gather very good teams that are really doing good work. Let me also take this opportunity to commend the team in Uganda, especially the Ministry of Health and other ministries for the close collaboration they have had with WHO and for making sure that the necessary measures are taken uh, to protect the country and uh, to also screen those who are seeking refugee in Uganda. Nevertheless, the problem still remains there. The key point is that it is a problem we must collaborate and defeat. And in this collaboration, World Health Organization provides the leadership and we therefore commend uh, WHO 
uh, and this is Director General for the leadership. We commend the team. We commend the Ugandan team, which has used its old experience in handling epidemics uh, to collaborate with WHO. We are confident that we will be able to overcome the problem, but we need to galvanize and ensure that we are as harmonized as possible. Uganda's first and worst Ebola epidemic was in 2000, during which it claimed 224 people in Gulu, Masindi and Mbarara districts. The next outbreak was in Bundibuja district in 2007, where it claimed 37 people. Between June and August 2012, another Ebola epidemic in Chivali district claimed 17 lives. Ugandan medics helped control the worst Ebola epidemic in history between 2013 and 2016, which ravaged Guinea. This report was compiled by Maria Wamala for New Vision TV.